Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and I'm going to take you through the new color selection options in Painter Essential 7. By default, you will always have the color wheel open, and it floats. You can resize it by moving to a corner. You get the crosshair, so you can size it up, or you can size it down. But what is new is this menu. So if I select the menu right here, I can say I want to use clone color. You see that the color wheel now grays out, and that means that I would be painting with the colors from a photo. So you can enable that from the photo painting panel, or you can do that now right from the menu. You can also swap colors, and swap colors, if you take a look in the toolbar, we have main and additional color. And these are two colors that you might be using quite a bit in the painting you're creating. So you can set the colors. If I swap, I can set the secondary color. And as I'm making changes to the colors, we also have a split preview. So you've got your clone color and swap right from the menu and your split preview as well. And then as you are doing various things within Essentials, if there happens to be any type of color option, you're going to have the universal color wheel. And another thing that we've updated is the nice large circular handles. So you've got hue on the outside, saturation and value on the inside. You get that split preview here. We also have color ramps. This is new. And you have color swatches. So no matter where you go within Essentials, if you're accessing color, you will find the same universal color wheel. I hope you enjoy these new options. Mm -hmm.